Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts, everybody! So, to start this episode off, we unfortunately have to put Donald back into our party. Sorry, Aladdin, you are an amazing party member. But, there are Trinity Marks down here that we need to get. Oh my, oh yes, treasure chests, please and thank you. We get a cottage. I know cottage isn't a terribly great item, but it's also not a terribly bad item, so... I am happy with that. And we can swim up the waterfall, like magic. There's a blue trinity mark. Yeah, yep, there it is. And Aladdin can't activate that. And we get the... F oh, yes! We get another gun for our gummy ship! Yes! Oh wait, that's the hidden room. Shoot, there's only one way in, one way out. Okay, if I play my cards right, I could also buy at least two, possibly at the end of this world, three more guns for my gummy ship. And, um... <laughs> Hang on. Oh, that's the dark... No! <laughs> it is impossible to turn around. Yeah, if I play my cards right, I can possibly buy two or three more gu uh, guns for my gummy ship after this world, and essentially just have a gummy ship that's like all guns. That would be amazing. Or, you know, I could spend it on something practical, like more items, but yeah, then we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so I can't remember which room this is. I was not paying attention. I was too busy daydreaming about a gun with... or a ship with nothing but guns. <laughs> Ow! Take that! Of course. Hi! Party wants more defense! Nope! No! That guy was just waiting for me! Wow, that like spawned every heartless immediately. Okay, that fat guy that is up on the cliff is gonna be very irritating to deal with because there's almost no room to work around him. <laughs> to the abyss. Yeah, Donald, you're not gonna want to get ne next to the big bandit. That, that strikes me as just a very bad idea. Okay. Guard does not work against fireballs. I know that now. Oh, it did work! I deflected his fireball. And that dealt a ton of damage to him. Yes! Can I please open this treasure chest? You can't open them if there are enemies nearby. Ah! Okay, I thought that was solid ground. Well, shoot. But hey, I landed next to treasure, so I'm okay with that. A thunder -a rain? That's pretty good. I do not think I will be able to reach that chest without some shared abilities. Actually, maybe I can. I just need to time my falling a bit better. Oh, for crying out loud, more enemies? Oh, there's so is. There is a pit here. Will you just get down the pit? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, if I can time this just right. Okay, that was not in the place I thought it was going to be. Wait a second, hang on. No, there's not a staircase. Alright. Silent chamber, here we come. Is 
So there's some statues around there. I thought we actually needed Aladdin to touch those statues. I'm so glad I was wrong. Get out of there. Thank you. This, t this episode shall be titled, Artie Stinks at the Kingdom Hearts Interface. I have no idea how in the world I'm going to get up there uh, right now, so I won't try. We'll go into the hall, which is the second room of the Cave of Wonders upstairs. Four fat guys. It's my lucky day, apparently. Yeah, we'll kill those green guys first so they can't heal Mr. Fat Bandit. I hate it when they fly over the bottomless pits. <laughs> oh, no! We were so close! Oh. <laughs> And we get a torn page, yeah! The torn page will allow us to enter the next part of the Hundred Acre Wood. I totally forgot about the Relic Chamber. Episode. I can already feel it. I should probably stop trying to get every treasure chest, because there are plenty of treasure chests in each world that you can't get until later on in the game. I forgot about that yellow trinity mark. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was bottomless pit. Yay! I didn't fall. New strategy, ignore the enemies. I've already fought plenty of them. The bottomless hall. Here we go. We haven't been in this room before. Hey Donald, how about giving me a hand? Thank you. No, I am not falling. I've come too close to this treasure to fall. Please open the chest. Thank you! Aw, oh, that was just for a cottage. You know what? I'm actually going to use that cottage right now. Boom. We have maxed out stats. And I just realized that was a stupid idea because we were right next to the save point. It's in the next room. Here's arrow really helps out with elemental damage as well. Take that. I hate it how the heartless always go like right next to the edge. So like in order to attack them, you have to fall off pretty much. And then when you come back, they'll all respawn anyways. Alright, we're not getting that chest anytime soon. Now we're in the treasure room. Here we go. Yeah, that was the save we were right next to. 
defense up. Yes, please. Using that on me, obviously. Because why would you not use it on Sora? A lot of treasure in this room. Mithril shard. Uh, this contains puppies, I believe. Nope, shell G. They're just shelling out gummy parts left and right. Need Aladdin's help. Okay, that's right. There was that one that you need Aladdin's help for. The rest are fine. The rest are fine. Alright, well, we're here, so... Aladdin, you're replacing Donald, because Donald is terrible. <laughs> Technically, we needed Abu's help for that. Yay! Puppies! First puppies of the world, I believe. Uh, I didn't need that guy's help. Well, now we need Donald back in the party. <laughs> Because I failed to realize there's a Trinity Mark over here. And we need the money! <laughs> we actually really don't need the money, but it always helps, so why not? Oh, we could buy four guns at this point! <laughs> yes! Alright, once again, putting Aladdin in our party. Aladdin's way better than Donald. And we're going to the Lamp Chamber. And we can finish Agrabah! That boy again? He is more persistent than I expected. Why not explain the situation to that boy, Riku? Doing so may actually prove useful to our... Wait a second, are you Maleficent? Haven't you watched Jabar, Sleeping Beauty? Black Jasmine, go! Not a Great chance. Acting. You see, she's a princess. One of seven who somehow hold the key to opening the door. Open? But you fools won't live to see what lies beyond it. Genie, my second wish, crush them! <gasps> Genie, no! Sorry, Al. The one with the lamp calls the shots. I don't have a choice. You'd think that Jafar would have opened the keyhole by now. Come on, come on. So this is a rather amusing fight against Jafar and the Genie. So sure enough, the genie actually will, like, punch you and, like, hurt you and stuff, but, uh, <laughs> look, there's a little twist to it. Man, Jafar is powerful, huh, in expert mode. Granted, he stinks, but, I mean, like... I'm really sorry about this! Run! Yeah, like, the genie will hit you, but he'll also drop health points for you after he punches you. And he's like, oh, run! Alright, Jafar's up here. Sweet. I wish he wouldn't, like, if he, like, didn't have the power to levitate over, like, this ground, believe me, he would die in, like, five seconds. Oh, hi, Jafar! Oh, hi, Jafar! <laughs> I didn't... I don't remember him being able to do that. Wow, Jafar is giving me more trouble than the Cave of Wonders entrance, at least in terms of deaths. That is unusual. Wait, I don't have to do everything in the treasure room. Oh my, what? That is ridiculous. Alright, Jafar, round two. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, Jafar's laser beam is pretty sweet. I'm really 
sorry about this. Run! Where's Jafar? Is he literally just hovering? Yes, he is. Why? Okay, Jafar, stop being a butt and actually allow me to hit you. No dark magic for you, Jafar. That's not his voice. <laughs> Jafar has turned into an orb. I'm really sorry about this. Run! Also, the G kind of like purposely. Whoa, he actually killed Aladdin and, and Goofy. Genie, come on. Jafar, your laser beam is sweet. But also, I'm totally gonna win this fight. I don't care if Aladdin and Goofy are both dead. Okay, well, I'm not gonna win if you're up there, like, but... Oh, no! No, no! No, no, no! No, no! No! If he does that move and you're in the middle of it, you are just completely screwed. Like, there is no escape from that. Literally, no matter what I did there, I would have died. Well, at least I don't have to get everything in the treasure room again. Round three. And Jafar always starts with the laser blast, so I can uh, prepare for that in advance. <sighs> he loves the laser blast. And why shouldn't he? It looks so awesome. And it's powerful. I'm really sorry about this. Run! Ha ha ha! Ah, hey Jafar. Uh, he's like just out of my reach. It's so irritating. Excuse me, would you want to run? <laughs> what was that sound, Genie? Hi, Genie. Please keep moving, I don't want to hit you. No. Are you kidding me? That takes up like the entire stage. And I do not remember him ever doing that move on normal mode. Round four against Jafar. This time, let's hope he's not cheap. Stupid ice tornado move. Sora, stop whiffing. Okay, that literally passed right through him. Sure enough, he's going in the out of range part. Farm like wouldn't be a hard boss if he actually like the only reason he's hard is because he's like out of your reach for like 90% of the fight. Okay, that is like the weirdest sound effect ever. He's like, uh huh. Uh huh. I can't hit him if he's there. This is so not fair. Come on, Jafar. 
Okay, Sora is missing Jafar way more than he should be. Okay, I think he's gonna do the ice move. Oh, nope. Genie's just dropping HP orbs everywhere, apparently. Genie! <laughs> he actually didn't hit where I thought he was going to. He was trying to miss, and I was intentionally going to dodge him. There we go, this is a good situation. Oh no. <laughs> Chidi's only going after me, which is very smart because I am by far the most deadly of the trio, but like. Alright, Joffer. You stop flying away like a coward. He's like, oh no, I'm about to die. I better hover in place so you can't kill me. There we go. You are so dead. <laughs> you should have been dead a while ago. Ooh, and Blizzard has been upgraded to Blizzara. It's just a more powerful version of Blizzard. Yes! Alright, I also realized I never used the defense up when I got it again. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the treasure room. Just use the save point to restore, you know, our party's HP and MP and stuff. And, you know, make sure we don't have to fight Jafar again in case we lose this next fight. Hey, Jasmine. Genie! My final wish! Where did you come I from? I want you to make me an all-powerful genie! It's funny because, uh, Jaf whoa, okay, Jafar just apparently made like, a lava temple right beneath here for some reason, alright. I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> but like, it's like, Jafar's like, I wish to be an all-powerful oh, genie. Like, Jafar's genie fight, way easier. At least it should be. Currently, we're at the head. Gotta like how Jafar's genie forms the head the lamp! Get Jafar's lamp! Gotta love how Jafar's genie form still has the impressive twisted beard. Yeah, this fight is basically just beat up Yago. And Jafar will occasionally do that. <laughs> Yago's like, oh, this is the perfect spot to fly with Jafar's lamp! I'm so tired, I think I'll just sit here for a while. Yeah, I was like, ah, I'm tired, I'm gonna sit in behind this invisible barrier for a while. Jafar's just like, now that I'm a genie, I could literally do anything, but I'm only gonna chuck giant fiery meteors at you. There's that dark brain. Let's be honest, who likes Iago? How dare you, Jafar. 
And like the last Jafar fight, the only annoying part about this fight is the fact that Iago is out of your range for a lot of it. <laughs> I cannot understand what he's saying. Take that. Ooh, Goofy learned Lucky Strike. Yes, and I have got more AP! So I might be able to equip Lucky Strike as well. Yes! Okay, Jafar. Back to your lamp. <laughs> no! Well, that's a pretty cool special effect. And we get the power of fire, and we learn fire uh. And we get Ansem's report number one. I don't think I've ever read those things. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't understand the plot. <gasps> Who did that? It wasn't carpet. Jasmine? Jasmine! <laughs> Love the warping, Aladdin. Yeah, we're at like the 33 minute mark on my recording, but like half of this footage is gonna get cut out because it's just me like doing. attempting fights over and over again. Oh! And we seal the keyhole. Go us, go us. Ooh, that's pretty. I love that special effect. <laughs> Apparently whoever stole Jasmine's like, eh, hey, we could just leave the keyhole. I'm sure Sora isn't going to seal it or anything. Whoa, we better get out of here! Jasmine! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aladdin. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about this. If that's not the end of the world, because we still have to escape on the magic card. This is great! This part! Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> that's sarcasm, by the way. Also, the Cave of Wonders is apparently now a completely different cave when you're escaping. And let me just say, I have pretty much no control over the carpet. It'll be like, oh, sometimes moving left and right will make you go, like, super far in that direction. Sometimes you'll, like, jump, and sometimes you'll, like, hardly move at all. Yeah, it's like, oh no, the Cave of Wonders is collapsing, we need to get out of here! But the thing is, like, when you, if you come back to the world, the Cave of Wonders is still completely intact. Ooh. Well, Aladdin, you still have, you should have two wishes left, unless the genie's feeling like a jerk, so... You can free the genie, and then rescue Jasmine. Not in that order. So Jasmine's no longer an Agrabah. Sora, let's go find her. Please! No! Sora! Aladdin's a great party member, and he's got a ton of abilities. We have to take him with us. <laughs> well, why not? I sure wish we could. But we can't. If we take him to another world, we would be... M mud Magdalene! Aladdin, we'll find Jasmine, I promise. Uh, Earth to Al? Hello, you still have one wish left? Two wishes! Just say the word. Ask me to find Jasmine for you. I... I you really have two wishes! Your freedom, Genie. Al! I think the Genie was lying just to get freed early. A deal's a deal, Genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. You're your own master. 
Dane. But if you can, it'd be great if you could go along with them and help Sora find Jasmine. Oh yeah. Hmm. Sorry, Al. I'm done taking orders from others. That's fair. But a favor now that's entirely different. I guess I could give that a try. <laughs> After all, we're pals, right, Al? You've known him for like thirty minutes. Just leave it to me. A day tops. <laughs> 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 yep, and that's Agrabah. Well, at least all of the Agrabah that you have to do. Oh, for, for the... Please, not enough with the movie scenes. <sighs> and a smarmy Bazir could have had him. If someone had stuck around to give him a hand... Hey, I did my part. I brought the princess, didn't I? <laughs> Jafar was beyond help, consumed by his own hatred. One should be aware of letting it burn too fiercely. Maleficent is a really good and smart villain. Whoa, 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 lighten up. Uh, I'm as cool as they come, okay? By the way, kid, have we got something special for you? Huh? We had a deal, yes? You help us, and we grant you your wish. Kyrie, go to her. Your vessel is waiting. Just remember, this is no pleasure cruise. It won't be a pleasant voyage. Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Silly boy. You're like a son to me. <laughs> I only want you to be I seriously doubt that. Be <laughs> what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. <laughs> Hearing Maleficent say those words is just like hilarious. No, but like Maleficent is a really good villain because she's like she's all about darkness, but she's not like going completely all in because she knows if she does that, like she'll like die basically. So she uses like just the right amount of evil that she's got control over it, which I think is actually like, a very smart thing to do for a villain. And we learn the summon spell genie, and he's arguably the worst summon in the game, unfortunately. And we get free wishes at this point, and we learn Green Trinity. Wow, Sora, please find Jasmine for me. So we could do so much now. First means first. We go to free wishes, powerful weapon that's difficult to deflect. That's an extra one strength over the jungle cane. Less range, but it deals critical damage, critical hits more often. I will equip that. Alright, and... Uh, I don't want to unequip dodge. I really want to equip lucky strike, so sorry, counterattack. Goofy, you need lucky strike. Oh my gosh, but I have to unequip a ton of stuff. Okay, you don't really need treasure magnet. Charge to knock out an enemy with a shield. Receive more... Uh, we'll work on that. Alright, so before we head out, there's that green trinity in Aladdin's house that we have to deal with. Or not Aladdin's house. In the storage room. It's the trinity ladder. It lets you reach out of the way places. Power up, yes! Alright, so I'm trying to figure out, do I have enough time to go back to Traverse Town? Because there's a lot of stuff I want to do in Traverse Town. Uh, you know what, I think I'll end the episode off here. Something tells me that it's going to be a long enough. Anyways, thanks for watching, I'm Cover Forty. I hope you tune in for the next episode. We will probably do some side quest stuff, like Hundred Acre Woods, stuff like that. Have a great day, and God bless.